Hey guys, I got another uh, diesel problem today. It's 6.4 diesel and it has glow plug uh, codes in it. The 6.0 and 6.4 and 6.7 will be able to identify individual circuits, um, whereas the 7.3 is all on one bus basically. So this one you can see has cylinder 8 glow plug circuit and there really isn't any melting issues or harness issues or uh, stuff like that to cause this besides the actual glow plug. So the first step if you have any kind of code like this that says glow plug circuit any of the cylinders is to uh, pull that glow plug out and we'll do an ohm test on it when it's cool and we'll see if it really is um, bad or not. On our Ford scan tool we have a actual um, key on engine running test we can do and it will check the amperage draw on demand right now um, of all those glow plugs to make sure there's no other ones that are going to set um, after this so we'll check them all right now in their current state and we're going to do that now start up It'll go through and te test each one of them individually. And that'll give us a current uh, failure, which ones are failing and wh which ones are not, so that we can concentrate on uh, getting all the glow plugs that are currently failed instead of going in there twice. So we're still only hitting on number eight. So let's yank it out, ohm it out, and. Uh, test it before we change it. Now number eight glow plug is the driver side the very back one so it's one of the easiest ones to get to. Um, the cylinders on a 6.0, 7.3 and a 6.4 are odds on the passenger side and evens on the driver side. So on driver side it would be 2, 4, 6, 8 from the front back and then the same thing with odds on the passenger side. So let's yank it out. Since we're concentrating on number eight and uh, the driver's side, easiest way to get to it without breaking the harness and all that is to pull the weld liner here. A couple of eight millimeters, a couple of 5.5s, and it'll come right out and get out of your way. All right, we got the well liner down, front park and stay on. Just let it rest in the tire like that. And then we got plenty of room to get in here. And you can see it's right there. Make sure you clean around that uh, connector on there, because once we pull that connector, we will be opening up the uh, engine, basically. And uh, debris and all that stuff can fall in there and get in the oil. Just clean that real quick. Compressed air if you got it. Alright, so what you want to do is get under the seal right here with a cat claw, something like this, a little broader, and work it up. Do the seal first, and then we can pull this connector without. You can grab onto the connector and give it a little wiggle and pull it out without damaging it. All right, so we got a little guide right there from Ford. It goes down to the head and uh, kind of prevents any loss of sockets or the glow plug. I guess it's extra deep in there compared to the 6.0. I don't think you really need to use it. I use a magnetic socket personally. It's a 10 millimeter, and I'd use a deep well. And once you got it loose, magnetic retriever would be nice. yank it out of there. Now the way to test these is to go from the center electrode which is where your voltage is coming in and then the ground, it gets this ground from the engine. So between those two it should be between 0.5 and 2 ohms. This new ones running at 1.4 usually, 1.2 
and that's a good glow plug. That'll get nice and hot in there. Once you get it in there, uh, by hand, uh, torque it down to 124 inch pounds. Pull my little sleeve out. Down in there, you can see it installed, and how it's. Uh, if you don't put it in straight, you could potentially lose the uh, glow plug down in there. It's nice to have that guide, but not totally necessary. Get that connector on there, nice and straight. Get it in there. After that, you can worry about your seal then. Let's try it. All right, I did the on-demand self-test and it passed. So all the glow plugs are functioning properly. And uh, another job done.